Welcome back to NASA's Riding Tips. Today, we show you how to monster big sand whoops. If you want to monster big sand whoops, there's a couple things you really need to, need to look out for. Number one is your body position. You want to make sure you have your you're riding on the uh, toes of your feet. You're standing up, your hips back, your chest forward, so you have your bike covered. We're covering the basics of where you're supposed to be on the bike in the video up here. So if you're not sure if you're in the right body position, make sure you watch that video as well. So as you see in this clip, I'm standing up, my hips are back, I'm riding on my toes, my chest is forward, but I'm not stiff. I'm flexible on the bike, I let the bike work underneath me and that way I stay in full control throughout the bumps. So now you're in the right body position. Next and probably the most important thing is to really look ahead. You want to you want to make sure you see where you're going, you can read the terrain a little bit because as you see in the videos the bumps are very different. This is like a long whoop section. Um, if you do any sort of desert riding, you're more than familiar with this. Not all whoops are the same, so you gotta read the terrain and make sure you can see if there's a bigger one, smaller one, or square edges coming up ahead. In this clip, you can really see me focusing ahead, always looking five, six whoops ahead of me, so I know when to lift up the front end and when to put more pressure on the packs to control the bike. Tip number three gearing you gotta make sure you shift up right <clears throat> one of the biggest mistakes I see with people when we do our trainings is that they come in and they rev the bike out thinking that that's what they're supposed to be doing you want to make sure you shift up um, on a 450 at least fourth gear so the bike can track along the bike stable the higher your gear with some momentum of course the more stable your suspension is if your bikes just revving out there's no forward drive the bike starts to fishtail, the suspension starts to kick around, and there's no suspension setup that can fix that. That is on you to shift up and make sure you're in the right gear. You want to enter a long whoop section in a low rev, high gear. Um, as you can see in the clip, the rear wheel is off the ground a lot, so your revs will come up fairly quick, and you want to make sure that you don't run out of gear halfway through the section. So those are the three basics. When you're standing up, you really want to make sure you squeeze the bike with your legs so you control it from the bottom up. That way you can relax your upper body a little bit. Obviously you still want to hold on to the bars, but you're not cramping. You gotta be flexible. Let the bike do the work. Let the suspension react on those bumps so you're just on top and in control. We slowed this clip up a little bit so you can really see my body position and watch me let the bike work underneath me. I'm not fighting it, I'm holding on mostly with my feet and my legs and my upper body is just on top controlling the throttle making sure I keep the bars in my hands. All right, this is it guys. This is how you master big sand whoops. Uh, go out here, give it a try. Comment below, let us know how it's going for you. If there's anything out there that you wanna learn, that you wanna know about, just let us know. We'll go out there and film it. Like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week.